Are you buying a Super C? In this video, we're going to talk about everything Super C's. Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. We are out at the Tampa RV Super Show, aka the Florida Super Show, RV Super Show. <laughs> and we're going to talk about Super C's. Now, this is one of the hottest divisions, markets in the RV industry. Everybody raves about the Super C's. Now, we did a video regarding all different types of price points and what to expect when you buy a class a motorhome we will link that above it was such a popular video where people were talking about do the same thing for super c's now super c's are being marketed well we're going to talk about it in the video so you're going to want to watch to the very end because we have a lot of useful information here regarding all super c's all right so behind me is a class c Today, we're going to focus on what makes this different than a Super C. We're going to lay out some points exactly about what a Super C actually is. All right, so Super C, we're going to, we're going to list some of these for you. It's going to have a wider stance. You're going to get that heavy-duty commercial chassis, which we love. And, and this is where they start to blend the lines a little bit. We'll right, talk about that. Right. Some are going to have air brakes, and you're going to have a good amount of storage. Also, what's key on the Super C's, it's going to have a bigger motor, mm -hmm. uh, usually a more robust transmission, and you're going to have a much higher tow capacity and carrying capacity. So we are going to talk about five different price points commonly seen on the Super C market. And what you're going to get, what you're going to expect to get at that price point, this is going to be a quick overview because the video will be six hours long. Right, right. We don't want that. It's going to be very quick on what to expect. Right, for each one, we're gonna hit five different factors in each price point. All right, so we're gonna start with an entry-level Super C. This is your um, most affordable. We're gonna start with the Nexus Wraith. We're gonna hit a couple different points in each of these. So we're gonna start with this. It's gonna be a 6.7 liter Cummins engine. I'm gonna read here because I wanna make sure I get these numbers right for you. 300 horsepower on the Nexus Wraith. It's gonna have 660 foot-pounds of torque. You're gonna have a six-speed Allison transmission. This is on the international Durastar light chassis. So it's a little different than your higher end Super C's. This is gonna to tow 10,000 pounds for you and approximately price range around 170, 170,000. All right, so at this price point, guys, like with all other RVs, you're not getting the, the frills that you're gonna get in the higher end ones. So the doors are gonna be lighter. You're not gonna get the fancy decor. This one behind us actually doesn't have air brakes. So keep that in mind as you're looking so you know exactly what you want to make sure you're in the right price point. All right, so price point two now, we're at something like a Thor magnitude. All right, there's obviously different ones in that range, but we're just gonna give you an approximation. So let's hit those points that we mentioned before. You're gonna have a 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 Turbo. It's 330 horsepower. You have 825 pounds of torque on this. It's a six speed select shift automatic transmission. This is on a Ford 550 chassis. This is gonna to tow 10,000 pounds, same as the, uh, as the Nexus. And this one now you're looking at MSRP around 230,000. There's different ones, but that's an average. Now, the prices that you're seeing behind me, it's the best price in America. Oh, oh no, he did it. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he just sorry, interrupt guys. my video. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so show price, obviously we're talking MSRP here. So the MSRP approximately 230,000. And there's no air brakes in this and one either. And there's no air brakes on this one either, yes. Behind me is now the third level in our price points. This is the Jayco Seneca, nicely made. We just went on there. So you're gonna have your 6.7 liter Cummins engine. This is gonna have 360 horsepower, 800 foot-pounds of torque, six-speed Allison transmission like the others. This is on a Freightliner chassis. Now this is on an S2 RV, which is actually a specific chassis made for RVs, specific Freightliner chassis made for RVs, so that's pretty cool. This, we're kicking it up a notch from the last one. You're gonna have about 12,000 pounds of tow capacity with this, and you're looking approximately in the price range around $270,000. All right, so let's go for about the fourth level. Give me the list there. All right, so this is gonna be your Renegade Veronas, your Supreme, I'm sorry, your Superstar. Superstar. And just keep in mind, these are mixed in different price mm -hmm. points. You have your Dynamax, DynaQuest. Again, these are going to be on your real uh, commercial chassis, Class 7 chassis, heavy-duty chassis. So you have 
This is just baseline, okay, all right? 8.9 liter Cummins motor, 350 horsepower, 1150 pounds of torque. That's gonna be on the Verona. We actually did a video test driving over Verona. We will link it above. You're gonna have uh, different transmissions here. Some are gonna have, you're gonna have your Allison 3000, but there will be an actual truck transmission, mm -hmm. which makes it a little more durable. In this category, you're gonna be on, in most cases, the Freightliner M2 chassis. You're really kicking up the notch now with the towing capacity around 20,000 pounds. Um, and this price range, you're looking at around 300s in that area. All right, so behind us is gonna be your fifth level. These are what we will refer to as true Super C's. So the reason why we say that these are on a commercial chassis. Now this could be the Newmar Supreme Air, which is on the uh, Freightliner M2 chassis. You're also gonna have your show haulers, your Renegade Classic, Renegade Icon. Those could be on Cascadia's, uh, Volvo, Peterbilt, whatever it may be. Different types of engines. This has the DD13 behind us. You can get up to DD16. These come in a variety of different horsepower torques. So that power can range from 350 up to 600 plus horsepower and your torque can be uh, 1,850 pounds of torque. There's a wide variety. These guys are gonna be 400,000 up to you know the mid sevens, depending on how much you wanna spend. With that, you get the extra carrying capacity. The ride is unbelievable. They can tow up to 40,000 pounds. This one behind us is rated at 30,000 pounds. But with all that extra carrying capacity, you're gonna get the porcelain floors, all the tie, all the heavy duty stuff you want, better payload. In our opinion, this is the way we would go. So we hope that cleared up some of the questions you may have regarding Super C's. Again, this category we feel is being used a little loosely. Mm -hmm. The true hardcore Super C people is gonna be on something that's behind us or even more so the show hauler and those renegades. We hope this cleared it up a little bit. In the comments below, if you own a Super C, which one do you own? Do you own one of the ones that we are talking have our about? Eye on. It's on the shade or one that we have the eye on? Let us know in the comments below. What do you own? How do you like it? And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.